Hi everybody. Here's a little video on uh, how to fillet a pike. First let's go over the items you're going to need. Newspaper, sharp fillet knife, paper towels for your hands when, uh, when you're done, and a Ziploc bag to put the meat in. I probably only cleaned it maybe five or six of them, so bear with me. But I'm sure uh, Tim or Tony could learn something from this. Okay, the first thing you want to do is uh, get this get, uh, fin up and skill and uh, cut right into his into him right there just behind the gill and uh, go until you uh, until you hit the spine okay and then you uh, turn uh, 90 degrees to the right and uh, continue to cut along the spine all the way down and uh, you get closer to the tail, you can go in a little bit deeper. Keep a nice long strip here. You want to get as much meat as possible. And there's more meat down by the, uh, the tail here. Okay. There's one fillet right there. I'll set that off to the side for now. Flip them over. Here's the male. I don't see any eggs in there. These are kind of slimy, sticky fish. So sometimes that's a pain in the butt. And these pieces of process. Right behind the gill. Down to the spine. And turn and head towards the tail. There you go. The second fillet. Okay. Now this is just discarded. And you take the fillets, and you have to cut the skin off. We'll uh, splay it flat back down on here. And uh Start from the wide end and go back towards the tail. Cut down. So you, so you get to the skin, lie it flat and go parallel. No, you're not supposed to move the knife towards your fingers. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it in here. I'm not going to push hard just in case I slip. Alright, that's working good. I'm leaving a little bit of meat on there, but that can be expected. Cut that meat off.
Here we go, this is all the way down. This hole looks nice flat. There's a nice little piece right there. Here's a good piece. Get this little piece of skin off. Yeah, this is going to be good eating right here. Nice big piece. And all you have left here is just the basic skin. You know, I got most of the meat off of it. That's just garbage now. And then, uh, repeat the process on this side. This slab. This time I'm going to start from the tail, see if it works any better. Work my way towards where it's really thick. Try to keep it pressed flush with the skin, flat. Basically cutting the meat off the skin. Not too bad. Nice big piece right here. That should taste real good. Go over the rest of it. Get some. You know, not bad. I'll cook up and get this little bit off the tail here. Nice little piece here. <clears throat> Red paper towel. Wipe off my fingers here. Didn't cut myself, so that was a success. Put the meat in here. There you go. Not enough to feed an army, but I'm the only one that eats it here, so shouldn't be too bad. That's what you got left of the pike. There's how it should look. I didn't leave any meat in there, it doesn't look like. All that's full of bones. So, oh no, not too bad of a job. There's a empty skin. You know, it just sticks to the paper, and I'm just going to crumple all that up and throw it out. There's the meat I got right here. It's going to taste good. I know you're jealous. All right, we're going to sign off for now.